Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you guys how to edit thing, edit um, TV shows within ITV. So this is mainly used for removing commercials from TV shows. So if we have a show right here, um, we'll choose this one. Then we right click, which is control click on a Mac. And so we hold down our control key and then click, and we'll get this little pop-up menu. From here we can choose edit, towards the middle, and... It'll pop up, hmm, this is really blurry, but anyway, it'll pop up in a um, little window which has frame by frame. So if we click over here till this right down here says 0.00, .00 um, that means we're at the beginning of the movie. Then we'll click here to hit this triangle thing, and by clicking that it adds two triangles down at the bottom. One's a starting holder, one's the other one's a stopping place. So we'll leave the first one where it is. And we'll drag, uh, let's see, we'll drag this other one over to where the show begins, which is apparently right around here. Probably end up deleting this one because it got so blurry. I need a new antenna. But anyway, um, so and then once we got it around where we want, we can click here in the frames and adjust it right where the show begins, which, oops, too far, click over, alright, which is right around here, and then we click on the top triangle, the one that's below, above the blue line, and that'll get us away from both of the two other triangles, then we head over to a commercial, right here, and we, anyway, we find the beginning of the commercial, hit this here, um, two triangle button in the center, and then it'll do the same thing. It'll add two little triangles, and then add, then you keep the first one where it is, you drag the second one to the, where the commercial ends. And then you keep on repeating the process for each and every commercial, and then at the end, you want to cut off everything that's not part of your TV show. So we can close that window, and I already, and also you see the during the orientation ends or um, gets smaller because you don't have such a long TV show because you've cut everything out. Half an hour TV shows will normally end up being about 21 minutes, and so here's one that ended up being 21 minutes exactly, and um, then you can export it. And um, th why I do this is to save hard drive space. So it's recorded in a codec that's pretty high quality and is very, um, like as you can see here, this is a whole gigabyte for a, a 21 minute TV show. So what I normally do is I, after I've edited out the commercials, I um, export it and then I put it inside of an MP4 um, extension, stick it inside uh, wherever it goes. Like I have different folders for each kind of TV show, you don't really need to. But then you can't play it in ITV, right? So what ITV does do is if you export it in the MP4 format, it'll add on the correct um, metadata so that you can also um, uh, use it inside iTunes. So if you go over to iTunes here, and um, if we go over to TV shows, we'll see that I have all my TV shows in here. You, this is normally the section, the um, TV shows, like when you buy or get a TV show from the iTunes store. But um, if you do Apple O, which is open, and then you navigate to your TV show or even a folder of TV shows, then it'll add them into this section if it has the MP4 extension. Um, it, I, ITV added the correct metadata for that which, in its new update, which is really nice. Then you can have all your TV shows in here, which end up being a perfect quality for playing on a computer screen and um, you know they, they're perfect quality you can play them in here and then you're not taking up so much hard drive space so we can go down here to like this one American household and as you can see it didn't start <gasps> it's so beautiful it started, um, and later, modern Ooh, a sub-zero fridge a slightly colder fridge in my lifetime Anyway, so as you can see here that um, the TV shows play fine inside of iTunes, and um, anyway, they work really, they, 
I think that works a lot better and saves you some hard drive space. So, going back over here, um, that's pretty much the end of my tutorial. It's um, basic usage of using ITV. Um, maybe in a different tutorial I'll show you guys how to record things, but I'm assuming you guys know how to do that. That's pretty straightforward. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed.